That is a wide ass driveway. dramatic it's not like we've got a real deadline Ugh. who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline gothic i like it hey what are these oh i got those for us all to wear when we shoot surprise wait you guys are both acting so it'll just be me so you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Uh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. You still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. She's a serial killer. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill thing. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. What was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Um, I don't know. If you... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Who were the victims? Just people, some from the town, some were never identified. The killings were random, there was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. They never found the bodies, they found parts. She seems like the type. Do you know what this means? That we need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best location. How do you... Think about it. Our movie shot in a real-life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity, buster. Oh. People are actually going to want to see this thing. We're going to be, like, totally famous. Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but, like... What if they don't like what they see? Then we just gotta make sure these last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck! But not if our fucking camera is fucking broken! Ugh. Language, hey, god damn! Why don't you take the camera to the drugstore and see if you can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kinda spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirt. <laughs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, which kind of shit out of luck. What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. You didn't sound fine. Mom got sick. I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like 
He doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about Mog. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to drown me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing Mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean, I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has a tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? like 10 bucks so let's say hypothetically I help you out what do I get out of this you gonna make me a producer or something sure of course associate producer by your lip associate producer is a bullshit thank you credit Linda <laughs> okay, bullshit I thank you credit about having a credit on your movie so maybe if you actually have something Real to offer. Uh, all right. All right, fine. You can borrow my van all week. <laughs> what? Dude, I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. Vans are cool. Everybody wants to drive a van. No, try again. If I may offer suggestions. Jaime, why don't you take over some of Bonnie's chores? Uh... Hmm, enticing. Oh, man. All of my chores, no complaints. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Then I think we got a deal. Wise decision. And don't try and weasel out of it, either. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure's all mine. blood i think it's just mint flavored real blood oh it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact you washed it all off like right away right uh you don't think it's like actually poisonous do you <laughs> that's a horror movie jaime anyone could go anytime <laughs> <laughs> hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight i'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it hey Think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. How about we ask the, the pharmacy owner? Hey, call Chris. First, since we're here. I don't want to risk missing our chance. Are you sure? Curiosity shop does look pretty cool. We can check it out after. Fair enough. Gonna do the honors. The honors? Talk to the clerk. You're afraid to talk to a drugstore clerk? Well, no, I'm just. You just don't want to haggle, do you? Hey, 
I already completely debased myself to get the money from my sister. I know you're all nervous to talk to the big scary drugstore clerk, but just think about it like acting. It's your great act. Uh, you know how to act, too. Yeah, but people around here actually like you. I don't know. That's the secret ingredient for most celebrities. Anybody can act. Well, some people can act. But making people like you is like a superpower. Well, I'm pretty charming. That's why I love you. <laughs> yeah, brother. Take a leg. You're gonna knock them dead. Okay. Keep that up, and his head's not gonna fit out the door. Oh! Hey, out of my way, Linda. But it's not pretty. The lens is busted, and I, I don't know if you guys are able to help with something like that, but I really need to get it fixed. So I just figured I'd come in and check. So, yeah. Wondering if you could take a look at it and uh, let me know if it's something you can help us with.
Son of a bitch. Why am I so close? Yes. That's Jaime's high score. Yeah, fuck you, Jaime. Beat your high score. Oh, what's this? We're so close to finishing the movie. I could so find a place for these in Mogno. If we had any cash to spare, which we absolutely do not. Movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. Demolition is scheduled this year. Oh, her movie is going to be the last record of the mill. How's it going? I'm working on it. Um, what else do I do? There's the game. Talk to Linda, maybe? I wonder if Linda found anything cool. Man, if this is a bus and we can't finish the movie, fucking tragic. Yeah. I think if the world's deprived of Murder Mill, there's an outside chance it'll keep turning. Come on. Linda, what's the deal? All right, look. Just be straight with me. What's the deal with you and Jaime? What do you mean? All that lovey-dovey shit back there. Uh, you said, I love you. said I love him because I love him. You met two months ago, and you've only been going out for like three weeks, and you're already throwing down the L word? Come on. Whoa, easy there, mom. That's just kind of fast. That's all I'm saying. Excuse me, young lady, but is there something I can help you with? Oh, hey, you. Hi, Robert. What, you quit working at the library? Ah, uh, those are just volunteer hours. Now you're looking at an honest to goodness working stick. Oh, income security is a very attractive quality in a man. So is access to book reservations. <laughs> hey. So, got bad news and good news. Bad news first, always. The bad news is they can't fix the camera. Stop! Ah, 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 ah. Don't you want to hear the good news? What's the good news? The good news is... Robert Greene's working in the drugstore now! Ta-da! <laughs> uh, we already knew that. Yeah, for like at least 30 seconds. Keep up with the times, Jaime. Gotta keep up. <laughs> Curiosity shop's probably still open if you want to see yourself fix it. Yeah, let's head over there. What's the camera for? Dude, we're making the most killer horror movie the world's ever seen. No shit. Well, we were, until your dad broke our camera. He did what? It was an accident. We were shooting at the old mill, and he was not pleased. Not surprised. He's always got his eye on that place. He already kicked us out once. But 
I don't think there's anything on the planet that's gonna stop our director from finishing her magnum opus. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but there's more than one way into that mill. Oh, really? If you get the camera situation sorted out, you let me know. Here's what you see. Let's just check it out. Not like we have anything to lose. Come on! Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd hate to look like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. And what if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. I'm not gonna put the best ones in the window. I gotta look inside. Shall we? If this is a trap, then we're walking right into the lair of the around and see what we can find. How are we going to find anything in a place like this? Getting lost is half the fun. M maybe nobody's home. Bummer. I was hoping to show off how good I am at haggling. Then again, if we find a camera, we could just walk on out with it. That's not quite the same issue. It feels like it. We can't finish the movie if we all get sent up the river. I don't think they send people up the river for shoplifting. Why don't we spread out? Start over there. Oh, is that what I think it is? Hello. Oh, cute bunny. Not that cute. Whoever owned this place before has some lousy luck. Discs? Holy shit. Huh. Oh, hey, it's Crow. Gothic romance novels? Yes. But no, about the movie. I think we could really strengthen the narrative if we just shoot next to scenes. I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. Is that the race weapon?
want to watch this creep fest. That. That's cute. Like, what kind of extra scene? There's, I don't know, a scene where they talk a little bit about who they're trying to say. Sorry, I interrupt you. What was I? Oh, yeah. There's, I don't know, a scene where they talk a little bit about who they're trying to save and, you know, why. Hmm. I like it. It's a good idea. <laughs> Thanks. What the fuck? I'm glad to see you're all having fun. But if you insist on using my store as a playground, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to take it outside. Oh my gosh, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Just make sure you put it back where you found it. Wait, we're just looking for something to replace this? Oh, I see. We're making a film, and we broke it. Got anything that could help us? With all the cameras in the window, we just thought we'd see it. There was one thing. I'm just not sure I still have it. I'll have to look in my back room for a few moments, if you don't mind waiting. We don't mind. I'll just be a minute. <sighs> Ten to one, she brings us a photo camera. <laughs> or a telescope. Giant chainsaw and being like so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Oh. May I? I insist. You guys get the film out of the original, right? It's pretty old. We could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Do you see? Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. So why don't you take a look? Is it ten bucks? Because we only have ten bucks. Holy shit, it's ten bucks! Ten bucks. That seems reasonable for something like this. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding out. Honestly, family. I feel like I should it be more. At all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. So we, we left the other camera with the film still in it? I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lever was renowned, professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential 
during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guide. A new timeline. A new choice. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even to me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? 